How's everybody doing? Welcome back to the channel. You know the time. Hashtag your team. The squad that was sent in today not only looks great, it's a no links weighted hybrid, but he did say it's the best 500,000 coin for a champions team. And we're going to find out is it worth the coins? Drop a like on the video. If you've got teams to send in, use the hashtag your team on Twitter or post it in the comments just below this video and leave a like. If we can aim for 2,000, that'd be sweet. If you guys are needing game codes or anything game related as well, head over to g2a.com. Use the code Fuji for a discount discount and let's get into it thank you ever so much to hasman for sending in his team today not only does it look good on paper it's a no links wasted hybrid and i appreciate it i used to always look to build these teams on fifa 14 fifa 15 it doesn't really make much of a difference on this game everyone looks to build those foot champion size i like it though and that's one of the reasons why i picked it out today so i built it exactly how he sent in you do have the options of inform ruffier tiago silva can't say i think most or actually Every single one of these players has an inform apart from Dembele, who's even rumored to get one in this week's team of the week. So potentially you could build a full inform side with these players, which yeah, would be pretty nice. Going through the full team though, Ruffier in goal, solid. Right back position, Ferenzi. Didn't use him until this point, the inform version. I've come up against him a lot in the weekend league. And I notice my opponents when they're running down the line with him and they trigger the shielding. Oh my, is he strong. So this inform, I was uh, really hyped about about trying these two in the defense inform or second inform Marquinhos with Thiago Silva I've got these two on my road to glory account I do like them I know that there's something a little off at times it could be the quality of the tackle or their work rate I don't know what it is they are good for the most part I feel yeah at times I do make a few mistakes with them could be down to me though so yeah keep that in mind left back we have the second inform Alonso and I want to show you how much I did uh, buy him for 83,000 coins I loved his non-inform I used him for at least two to three weeks in the weekend league the only problem which was the pace at times and that was noticeable with this inform is there really much difference between the two cards? No, not at all. So wait for his team in the season. I wouldn't go out and purchase this card for 83,000. No way, because he's going to drop. In the midfield, Kante, Dembele, and Nainggolan. How he played the team, as soon as it started, he switched these two and kept with the 4-3-2-1 formation. I love Dembele. The problem with this card, though, I've played over 110 games, just kept him uh, in my uh, main account for a long time. Two star weak foot, that's the problem. And yes, he does drift into those positions to catch the finesse shots. And with that two star weak foot being uh, left footed is, is not great. Four star skill moves though, he is a unit running up and down the pitch. With Kante, you've got to use him. If you're building a foot champions weekly side, if you don't have Kante, you're at a slight disadvantage already. Nine going on as well, box to box to get the chemistry with Florenzi. So that's a nice midfield already. I like the look of that. You've got the right footer on the right to shoot across goal, left footer on the left. So it works. Right wing position, 86 rated Quadrado. I am a fan of this card. He's lovely on the ball. His finesse shots, when you get him around the edge of the box, he just seems to just drift into those positions really well. He's quite strong on the ball, not weak, and his pace is blistering. So you don't need to apply any chem style to bring up that pace. I focused on the shooting and the passing. Dybala in that striker position, he drops back to a cam, he goes forward, he's just perfect in this uh, formation because not only does the striker get goals, he acts as the playmaker, so you have Son who's been upgraded out to 4 star skills to overlap, shoot across goal with that 5 star weak foot. Quadrado, preferred foot right, it works. Really like the attack. So, custom tactics and player instructions. Stay central and get in behind for Dybala. These two, the forwards to get in behind. Stay back while attacking for the middle centre mid and stay back while attacking for the two fullbacks. And these are the tactics that were sent in. So, 70 speed, 40 passing, which I was a little unsure because with the 4-3-2-1 formation, they're already quite close together. It was nice though in the attack. I felt that I was able to play that tiki taka style really quickly. So I, and yeah, I didn't really notice the passing to be that much of an issue. I did enjoy it. With the chance creation, that's up to 65, shooting 65, crossing on 40. That's pretty standard. Um, I, I guess he's taken it from my videos. I always use pretty much 60 uh, passing and 60 shooting. With the defense pressure though, he's brought his up to 65 pressure, 65 aggression, which is telling me that he wants 
me to play high tempo football and with the team width it's on 45 with defensive line cover so what did i think of the best 500,000 coin for champion side i wouldn't go as far as saying it's the best ever you could build a better team with uh, some cheaper players for sure. Is it good though? Yes, I thoroughly enjoyed it. In the attack, Human Sun without a doubt is the best player in this side. The player of the month version, I've got to say, is broken. I don't know if it's because I'm catching people off guard and they're not familiar with him having that skill move upgrade. When I'm hitting the Berber turns and the Scoop turns, I just seem to be beating my man completely so that's nice and sun is a great player with the four star skills now and the five star weak foot love him shooting a cross goal and then you have a little bit of strength with the card he's not that weak quadrado he's not the weakest of players and he can definitely hold his own and dibala gets those lucky rebounds so would i say is the attack lacking because of strength i wouldn't say that's the case i i really did enjoy it so with those players they've got the agility dribbling and they suit my style and they're all on the same page they can link up really quickly and it was just awesome thoroughly enjoyed that defensively in the midfield you've got kante yeah enough said kante is the best cdm on this game for me anyway if you've got a few more coins i would definitely recommend bringing in his inform card because the difference between those two is noticeable his non-inform is good though like if you don't have the coins then make sure to bring him in the two wide men though dembele it is a shame with that two star weak foot i'm not gonna sit here and say it's not an issue because it is at times he does push on and the shot is there for him to take it on with his right i'm not saying that he won't be able to score it's just annoying it is that two star weak fit is a killer so with the nine golan on the opposite side the height may be a bit of an issue for a few people i know that can't say yes he can win headers but he's not incredible in the air you've got nine golan who's on the small side and dembele is the wide center mid so he's not really going to be winning too many um headers unless your opponent has aimed it over that side so for me a little bit of a downfall is the height Defensively, though, you've got four strong players. I did mention the two centre-backs, though. Thiago Silva and Marquinhos. I go from day to day using this partnership. I enjoy it. Sometimes I don't. Maybe you guys will get on with it. It's positioning. And it could be down to the custom tactics. Like I know the aggression is high and, and, and the pressure is also high. But I noticed this with on my, my Road to Glory account. So I don't think it's just down to um, the defensive pressure. It could just be the quality of player. The two fullbacks though, I do like them. Really am excited for the team of the season, Alonso. I think he's going to replace Bremer for me. Just because he's got a little bit more height. He will have the dribbling, the strength and the pace will be boosted. I'm hoping that it hits 90. I have a feeling that it's going to go out to maybe 80. 88 or 89 90 is not really going to be making too much of a difference but yeah 90 just looks a bit better Florenzi though was fantastic I would 100% use Florenzi in my main weekly league side he is great and the goalkeeper is solid really liked it man it's a good team 500,000 coins would I say it's worth it yes and no it's a good side for 500,000 just wait Wait for these players to drop. The inform Corrado, I could see him selling for maybe 110,000 coins in the next couple of days. You're going to have Marquinhos that he will drop. And just all of the players in general, they will drop. But it's a fantastic team. Thank you ever so much for sending it in. If you've got a side that you think beats this, or at least rivals it, then make sure to link it in the comments or use the hashtag your team on Twitter. Thank you for watching, guys. Go and buy it. It's good. Team out. Peace.